Okay, during this tutorial, we're going to describe the role that the sympathetic nervous system has in regulating the heart rate, types of what types of neurotransmitters are found in the pre- and post-ganglionic sympathetic synapses, and focusing on that post-ganglionic synapse, the type of receptors that's there, and the effect of that the innervation will have on each of these organs. So, here we go. Conduction system of the heart. So here we've got the brainstem, cervical cord, and upper thoracic levels, and there's the heart with the SA and AV node, and we see that all these cardiosplanchnic nerves and the vagus nerve will come down to innervate those SA and AV nodes to regulate the conductive system in the heart, which then affects uh, heart rate and uh, ultimately going to be cardiac output. So let's take a look at both sympathetic and parasympathetic with a focus on right now in the sympathetic nervous system. And so here we've got that pre and post ganglionic sympathetic neurons going to the heart. And we're going to focus now on this first S pre, which stands for sympathetic preganglionic. And we're going to have a synapse that then, uh, pardon me, um, an impulse that conducts along that axon. And when it hits that terminal axon, it's going to release acetylcholine into synapse number one. Now, where that synapse number one occurs are the T1 to T4 sympathetic ganglia within the sympathetic chain. And that synapse between a preganglionic and a postganglionic neuron occurs. It's a nicotinic receptor on that postganglionic neuron, um, sympathetic neuron, that binds acetylcholine. So nicotinic is describing one type of a cholinergic receptor. Once this occurs, our sympathetic post or postganglionic sympathetic neuron is then going to conduct an impulse down its axon and then synapse um, and send neuro uh, norepinephrine or epinephrine into that first synapse. And I'm um, pardon me, that second synapse to bind with uh, an adrenergic receptor and in this case, specifically, a beta adrenergic receptor. And there's what happens at synapse number two. This is now where the SA and the AV node are located. And when this occurs, then, this is going to increase the cardiac output. Now, how does it do that? Well, it increases the heart rate, increases contractility, automaticity, conduction velocity. All of those things are going to be what norepinephrine is going to cause. And the take-home message is this. The beta 1, and it's beta 1 specifically, but we can just say the beta receptor activation increases cardiac output. Now, our second thing we'll talk about now is the parasymp parasympathetic innervation. And so to do that, we take a look at this whole system, and then we're going to then start here with our preganglionic parasympathetic neuron, which then conducts an impulse all the way along. And then when it hits that synapse, it releases acetylcholine into that synapse number one. For parasympathetic, this synapse is in the intramural ganglia. This is within the actual the uh, parenchyma heart tissue itself. And because it's acetylcholine, it'll bind to a cholinergic receptor, specifically a nicotinic receptor. And when that occurs, it continues its impulse along the postganglionic parasympathetic neuron. And we see that impulse travel all the way down to that terminal axon, releases also acetylcholine into that synapse. And the synapse number two is at this SA and AV node as well. Now, this is a different type of cholinergic receptor. So acetylcholine is now going to bind to a muscarinic receptor. And when it binds to that muscarinic receptor, it's going to do the antagonistic response to the heart, which is decrease cardiac output by decreasing heart rate, decreasing contractility, decreasing automaticity, and decreasing conduction velocity. The take-home message, it's uh, parasympathetic innervation, will then bind to muscarinic receptors, and that decreases cardiac output.